good morning so it's day five or day six i don't know can't keep track but we are walking to the safari bus stop in charlotte amali headed to red hook and from red hook we're going to catch the ferry to st john um so the safari bus should cost two dollars per person to get to red hook and then the ferry i don't recall the cost of the ferry but i'll include that in a minute um so we are off it's a very humid day today so already sweating but we have a tour with starfish tours in st john it's about a three hour tour and then we're going to spend some time at trunk bay entrance. Life jackets are located to the rear of the main cabin. On the ferry headed to St. John. Life rafts we almost didn't make this. Um, to the safari rear buses of the were running. The safari buses of were running kind of late. Please so, remain calm um, our crew assists you. Our tour is at 12, so we wanted to catch this in so we barely made it. We're on board. In donning a life jacket. Number one. Alright, we made it. We are here in St. John. Yep. I can share. We are aboard Starfish Tours. And this is a private tour. And this one here was, I think, $30 a person. I'll get the exact price. The other I get nope. Right, have a good day. How's everyone today?
que es de carne. Uh -huh. This is cotton. So you see how you got your t-shirts? You can just pass it down so they can... It's cotton. See that? Touch it. Did you know? Oh, like this. So cotton is like what your shirt's All made right. out of. So, let me see. Press it back. Wear your t-shirts. You probably don't even know where it comes from. But you see that on a tree? That's yes. exactly what they use to make your t-shirts. Mm -hmm. That's how they make shirts. Okay. Don't give it to them. So now, our country is different from that of the south. That in the south, your country is more of that of a shrub, right? Ours is that of a tree. Why? I don't know. But all I know is if we had to go back to those days, which we ain't trying to go there, right? No, and not I said, at all. Send me, to, send me to the Caribbean. Right. Better view, <laughs> and the height of the tree, I'll work with that compared to being in the down, right? So we don't have any manufacturing companies to use. Oh, you did? local arts and craft books and try to use it to make um, stuffed animals, dollies, etc. So the product could be as authentic as possible, truly made in St. John, they use that as a stuffing. Okay? So this tree that you're looking at here it just recently got pruned, but it's called a guava. It looks like a round golf ball, the skin is green, yellow. When you break it open, a beautiful fuchsia pink, full of flesh and seeds. What do we do with that? We eat the whole fruit as is. We pop the whole thing in our mouth, skin, seeds, everything, you eat it. Or we make a local drink with it because it's very thick. It's more like a nectar and not a light refreshing drink. Mm -hmm. And then also we make a dessert with it. How you have your American pies? We have something called a tart. We take the fruit, we um, take a tomato peeler, remove the skin, cut it in half, take the seeds out because the seeds are surrounded with a bunch of flesh. We give that to the kids in a cup and they eat it like it's candy. And then we take the shell and we make a preserve with it. So we take that preserve now, we put it into a shallow dish. Uh, with our pie crust and our pie crust is in between a phyllo and a pie so it's not too thick and it's not too thick. all right so this is one of our trees now anybody on board here likes to cook i do oh okay so then this one is going to be for you what is it what you got it two of you But it's really a bay leaf tree. The local it is like tree. Tree. Is also referred to it as a local cinnamon tree as well. Mm -hmm. It's our custom. You see, you young guys, what's your breakfast food? What do you like to eat for breakfast? I like candy. You like candy, man? You're the yes. typical kid, huh? Yeah, I got a grandson. <laughs> I like candy. Like waffles and pancakes. <laughs> I love pancakes. Waffles and pancakes? Well, in our country, and our cereal. Shh. Okay, you see what you said, cereal? That's our breakfast food, but not your cornflakes. It's cream of wheat or oats. Mm -hmm. That's what we feed our young children from the time they can eat. So we take this leaf, we let it simmer in the milk, make it cream of wheat like your oats as you normally would. Take the leaf out, put grated cinnamon over it. The smell gets the senses going, the children eat it, and it stays with them. So if they're not uh, happy with the tuna fish sandwich or peanut butter sandwich for lunch, they'll be fine until they get home because it stays with you. It's very filling mm -hmm. and expensive. So one of the ways we budget and make sure the children are healthy as well. So today, mm -hmm. they will take that leaf and chew on it, and it would help to numb it. So if you do it, you'll feel your mouth get a little... Oh, okay. Don't put it in your mouth. Right. Yeah. So people do chew, chew right. and eat it? Yeah, it's okay. not going to kill you. All right, okay. I promise you that. I, I, I'm she married to her. Right. Right. She's a doctor? Uh, yes, but not in medicine. Okay. Right. Right. So you're in good hands. That's the bottom line. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah? Yes. I would make a tea with it as well. Yes, that's yes. what I was thinking. Yes. All right, shall we continue? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Can we do it like that? Joe? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Cam. That's you don't swallow it. Anyway. You're I see what they mean. I already had it broke off in your hand. I told you it numbs your mouth. You see how I'm breaking to the milk? Don't yeah, you don't take it anymore. I want to keep this. You can keep it. Yeah. Now, uh, what you're looking at here, this fruit is called a papaya. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we eat the papaya as a regular, nice, juicy fruit, like that when it's orange, but we also use it as a starch. How do we use it as a starch? When it's green like that, it's nice and full, getting right, but we want it to change colors. We pick it, we peel it, we boil it, and just how you make your Irish potato salad, we do the same thing with a papaya, but what do we call it? The papaya salad, right? We really want to dress it up. We take something called salt fish, known as bacalao. You cook that down and you add that papaya to it, there you have a meal in itself. 
So we don't just see this as a fruit tree, it's a medicinal use as well. Anyone in our community suffering from sugar levels, for some reason my sugar went up, before we run to that doctor, we ask a neighbor, or if we have our own, we pick the leaves from that papaya, we boil it down, and we make a very bitter tea with it. The key is, as bitter as it is, you may not want to drink it, I want to put some sugar or honey, don't do it. it kills it the purpose of trying to use it for healing purposes. So you got to suck it up and drink it down with bitter. And that's going to help to regulate your sugars. Now, in the event your sugar keeps rising, of course, you better hit the doctor to find out why, right? Now, when it's ripe, it has these black pearly seeds. We take a mortar and a pistol and we pung them up. Growing up, it was about eight of us. My grandmother lined us up, all her grandkids. Look at this. All right, so what recording. you're looking at right behind us, that's the Western Resort and Villas. The homes that you're looking at here, believe it or not, people don't really live in them on a full-time basis. The owner of these homes, depending on how deep their pockets, they purchase land, they build a home, but they don't want to live here on a full-time basis, so they put it on the market for rental. Now the term is called Airbnbs, right? But before we call them villa rentals. Now when she's in her bloom, which I'm excited because it's going to happen soon, you look and you see these green bulbs. You see that blood red orange flower that's over there? That's just giving you a preview of what she's going to look like. In Hawaii, wow. they refer to it as a flame tree because she literally looks like she's on fire. Okay, now when I look at it, I don't just enjoy her natural beauty. It takes me back to my childhood. You see these pots? Our grandparents, we, we didn't dare ask them to buy us things. They said, no, not my hard-earned money. You go outside and try to make something for yourself. So she taught us how to make an instrument. We picked these pots. She gave us some paint. She said, paint it, make it your own. We did. Let me see if I have it. Mine's a little broken. I have a five-year-old grandson decided to get it too hard. All right, so this is the pod. We picked it. We painted it. And then she says, all eight of you. She says, I'm going to regret this, but hit it on your hand. Find a beat. Bam, bam, ba, da, 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 bam. Right? This is the beginning sounds of what? Music. Now, this might sound boring to you because an instrument by itself. But when you mix this with other instruments, let me tell you, you have the beautiful sound of music. And this is called a shack shack for us here locally, okay? Alright. Give it back right. to you. No, give it back. Time to give it back. Long give it back. Okay. Alright. It's our tour guide. Is it hibiscus? Yeah, hibiscus. She said this is private property, but the owner has turned it into like an overlook here in St. John.
put it there, So in case you didn't hear, she mentioned that Maho Bay Beach is popular with families because it's uh, shallow water and there's turtles in it. So um, definitely a good spot for families. So we're at Maho Bay Beach. They have a few vendors out here. It's like eating some things, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Some vendors. hoping to go to Trunk Bay to go um, snorkeling um, but our driver Hibiscus mentioned that the facilities so the restrooms the uh, bars the restaurants there or the kiosks there that they close at 3 30 and it's almost two o'clock so we don't feel comfortable being dropped off at the beach um, not being able to use the restroom or you know get food or anything so I think we're gonna maybe just walk around Cruise Bay and then find get back on the ferry to St. Thomas and find a beach there. Um, it just doesn't make sense for us to, to go there knowing we can't go to the restroom with all the kids. So that's a disappointment, but you know, we'll go with the flow. And the This is Trunk Bay here. Oh, it's beautiful.
Starfish tour. Give the kids. Football. You know, that's little other stuff. things. That's really nice. That's pretty cool. Let the little ones pick theirs first. Yeah. I, will, oh, I will save that stuff for later. Yeah. So we had a great adventure there in St. John. A little disappointed that we couldn't make it to the beach there. Um, it just didn't make sense for us to stay there. We didn't have um, access to the restrooms and things. And some of the beaches did. We just figured we might as well get back over here to St. Thomas. So we are back at Sapphire Beach. This was um, this is at Crystal Cove where we originally stayed. Um, and although we're not renting right now, I just figured it wouldn't hurt for us to use this side of the beach. It's very secluded um, and you know pretty good snorkeling and things. So. We just brought the family back here. We have three chairs to use and we are in the shade. So we're just going to enjoy the rest of the day here at the beach because it's been kind of tiring trying to um, get to and from without a rental with a family of eight. Um, so literally to go about three quarters of a mile from Red Hook to um, where we are at Crystal Cove, it was $32 total. And that was not it wasn't even a mile so um you know we don't want to keep putting out that kind of money so we thought about going to megan's bay but megan's bay was probably going to be about 12 to 15 dollars a person um to get over there with taxi um and then we would still have to pay five dollars entrance fee to get in um so i'm like we'll just stay here at sapphire beach for you know the rest of the evening and probably call it a night we do want to go up the tram to um is a paradise point um so we'll see if we don't make it there today we might go there tomorrow but right now i'm just exhausted i'm sweaty i'm ready to get into this ocean <laughs> so we had a great time at sapphire beach although we had some downpours we are going to catch the one dollar safari bus well yeah, it'll be two dollars actually because we're going back to charlotte amali and we're just going to find something to eat there in the strip so tired snorkeled some didn't have um really great views today but still was fun so we had a great time and we're headed to get dinner so we're here at sabrosos in charlotte amali it's kind of a last resort option um, we were trying to go to gringo's cantina there but it's a very very small restaurant and they had a wait list um so then we were going to go back to burger max they were closed a lot of the um restaurants in charlotte amali are closed or they closed early and it's friday so i didn't quite understand that but we are at sabrosos um, they have two for one mojitos um, between four and seven. Um, so we're going to partake in a couple mojitos. It's been a very long day um, traveling on the safari buses and going to the beach in St. John and all of that. So 
um, we'll see. Sorry. That's not all ours, is it? Yeah. No, no, I was going to have... Okay. Oh, no, it's someone else. What do you mean? Huh? 